Welcome back to another episode of Live from the Plantation. I'm Spartacus 2.0, a.k.a. Jerry Metcalf. With me, as usual, upstairs across the gallery on his own prison phone is Lucifer777. Hey, what's up, though, bro? You good? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. In honor of that, oh, yeah. today we're going to be we're gonna be discussing solitary confinement in U.S. prisons and... Uh, all the things that those men and women locked away in them cells and cages um, have nothing to be thankful for um, on the plantations. That being sure, said, for sure. why don't you kick us off? Right, for sure. Man. And it's a fitting topic, right? Because we individuals dealing in prison, it's not, when you think of solitary confinement, you think of the whole. Uh, the box, um, the beans, Shoot. you know, many things, you know what I'm saying, the suit, the things that we call it, you know what I'm saying, but you think of people being in a hole or uh, just being locked away by themselves. Even though we got bunkers, we still locked away by ourselves, right? Because guys in here are like, we kind of like, with the obsession, with the uh, exception of a few guys sprinkling around uh, on a compound, we kind of withhold our emotions right we don't mm-hmm. let it be known how we feel it so we deal with those things on our own even though we got a bunker we might not talk to our bunker people don't like people people don't like living with people you know yeah yeah especially yeah. another guy you know, that you're not even getting along with you hear me so we deal with the we still in solitary confinement we still in solitary confinement even though you know what I'm saying we surrounded by other people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that, right? On the plantation, yeah. yeah. We, we are we are a solitary beast by nature in here because everyone's got an angle or trying to abuse somebody else or trying to work them. I get exactly. that. Exactly. But, exactly. but keep, in, keep in mind, we're still herd creatures. We, we crave yeah, we human contact. So when you're For stuck sure. in them four walls or you're stuck in them you know, in that cage with nothing but bars, you have no human contact and you can't see another human or talk to another human. That shit grinds you. It grinds you down. And, uh, well, that rips away. Yeah. It tears you down psychologically, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's designed to make a motherfucker go crazy. They they know that it's designed. Yeah. Shit. Um, when prisons first directed, when they put somebody in the hole, they literally put them in the hole. Naked. Stripped them of all the clothes and just put them in the ground. Or a hot box. Yeah. Yeah. They was using tactics they was using tactics from slavery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing. I mean, everything on the plantation that, that you know of today, all these prisons, the way that you know and the way they function today are direct results of the way when when slavery ended, they started running prisons. Well, in the South, and the way that they ran them, just like plantations, that shit filtered all across the United States. Right now, every prison in the United States is run just like a plantation was run. Top to the bottom. Oh, so you're right. Solitary confinement, that shit came from the plantations when they used to lock somebody in a hot box. Or they had lots of different things, but they, they would they would put the slave in solitary confinement. They would rip him, away from, him or her away from everyone else to punish them. And they still do that today. Uh, you talked about getting naked. You know, one time, one time when they put me in the hole, they put me in there butt ass naked. There was nothing in there. I had to walk constantly just to stay warm. I had no clothing, no bedding, no sheets, no blankets, no nothing. I had to walk, pace back and forth just to keep uh, from freezing the fucking death. Most definitely. And it's all right. So a quick description about the uh, about solitary confinement in the hole for people that's wondering. It's like the lights be on. All through the night until you go to sleep. I mean, all through the day until you go to sleep, right? They strip you of everything. You have no no means of entertainment, TV, anything like that. You get old books. They give you the Bible for one. That's the first thing they do. They just put the Bible in your bed. Hey, just maybe. entertain yourself with this. Yeah, maybe, maybe. they might give you the Bible. Maybe. I was in the right. hole when I was for I was sure. in the hole for a year, and 
I spent months and months before I even touched a book, any kind of book. No TV, no nothing, no books. No no yeah, it, they keep the air on. It's cold as fuck all through the day. No heat, no nothing, especially in the winter time. Just imagine how cold it is in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're in a deep freezer. Yeah. You know? And you just there, you can find. You go to the yard one time, not even for an hour, it's thirty minutes, and then you get on the phone one time to talk to your people, right? After that, first off his heat schedule is fucked up. Can you hear me, Jay? Jay just went out. Yeah. We haven't said the difficulties. All right, we're back. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Sometimes the sometimes master don't like what we're saying and clicks us off, and that's what happened to me. He didn't like me talking about my experiences in, in whole. Yo, for sure. You know, some strange shit be happening, at? man. They be trying to silence us. Uh, oh. Who I left okay, off no, at no. is describing, yeah, <laughs> describing shit in the whole, man, the conditions of the whole, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me give him something. Let me give him something. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So, you know, I, you know, I've been in prison almost three decades, right? So I've been to the whole uh, on a yeah. few occasions. Um, it could be really, really Oof. fucking bad. We talked about they threw me in there naked. I had to walk back and forth to stay warm, freezing the motherfucking death. And uh, uh, and, and in the hole, usually, usually the hole is freezing cold in the summer. <laughs> and it's fucking... For real. Hot as hell in the winter. <laughs> for real. I know that sounds for crazy, real. but it's like they psychologically try to fuck with you. Now, the joints yeah. that don't have the the AC, you know, they can't pump that shit real cold. Then it's just hot as fuck in the summer and freezing cold in the winter. You know, especially the ones that have broken sure. windows and shit. In the winter, you're just freezing the fuck. Oh down. man. They give you one little whole ass blanket. It's horrible. But um. Oh man. Tell you some, let me tell you some of the most fucked up shit they did to me. One time they put me into the hole, right? Uh, first they beat my ass, you know, do all the normal shit. And then they throw me into the motherfucking hole. And then they, they kept they, they, they kept dumping my food on the floor. They wait till I was like at the back of the cell. They open the food slot. They stick the tray in and they turn it over and dump the food on the floor and pull the tray back out, right? So you might be thinking, uh... I wouldn't eat that shit. Fuck that shit. And I didn't. I didn't. But I'll tell you, when they got you locked in a motherfucking cell and you're in there for weeks and weeks and weeks or whatever. Oh, you get hungry. You, know, you get hungry. get hungry. Yeah. So after <laughs> so many days, I got hungry. And I'll never forget, man. I'll never fucking forget it. They made they treat me like a dog. I cleaned the floor real good by the fucking door and I went and sat there on the bed and I just looked at them like motherfuckers. Dude opens the fucking, he opens the flap first so he can look in the window and see me. Then he sneers at me, kind of like smiles, opens the food slot, dumps the food on the floor. I'll never forget it. Spaghetti. I went and ate that shit with my hands like a, like a savage. That yeah, shit. yeah, shit. They had to push you into that position to do that shit, man. Shit crazy. That shit. That shift I ate off the floor, the next shift I ate off the floor, and the next day they start giving me my food. They just wanted to break me. They made me eat off the floor like a fucking dog. Did it, they did it's meant to. They kept pouring the food on the floor. It's meant to. Shit. They, they're pissing your food. If they don't like you, you start making the scene, causing the ruckus. They'll piss all in your food. Oh, yeah. yeah. All type yeah, of last shit. Time, yeah, last time I got out of the hole, my bag was full of piss. They was using it as a toilet. Uh, my mm-hmm. duffel bag that they hold to my property, they they were just all pissing it all the time. I stunk so goddamn bad. And uh, um, like it's in the hole, when you go, when you go to the shower, they hook this long leash to you like a dog. So they have one cop holding each one of your arms, and you're you know, and your little towel wrapped around you, and you're flipping, you're in your little fucking flip flop, plantation flip flop. Then they got someone behind you on like a. 15 foot chain leash. Walk, that's how they walk you to the shower. Like your Hannibal motherfucker sure. right there. Then they put you in there, <laughs> sure, turn the sure. water on for four minutes. Four minutes of water. That's it. That's it. The shit might be cold, it might be hot, depending on the day. If everybody, if you're the last person to get in the shower, that bitch ice cold. Cold. Ice cold. Ice motherfucker cold. 
then you can't shave or nothing like that. So I had like this long ass. Yeah, beard. I was like a savage, man. So I would lather fucking shampoo into my beard and I would soap up before I even went down there. So all I had to really do was use the four minutes to rinse off. Right. Yeah, they don't give you enough room, man. They don't give you enough room to take a proper fucking shower at all. Then you got to lurk all your dirty clothes and shit back in your, in your toiletries, yeah. back in your hand, chain, shackle, feet shackle, arm shackle, shit falling and Everything shit. Everything shackle. Everything shackle. With a long yeah. leash. <laughs> Big ass chain leash. With a long leash. Right. And then they talk crazy to you man. the whole way. Like, try something. Oh, yeah. We'll kill you. They pushed me down oh, the yeah. floor. They done all kinds of shit, man. They, oh, one time they had picked me oh, up. They, 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 they changed. They put like handcuffs on my hands and and the chains on my feet, and then hook another pair of handcuffs from my hands to my feet, so I'm ho- hog tied. Then they picked me up and was hauling me down the fucking thing and threw me into the motherfucking shower, which is where they lock me. Whenever you go to the hole, they always lock you into the shower first. For could be anywhere from two hours. To 15 hours. They lock you in there first. That's how they yeah. soften you up and break you. You're in this tiny ass, fucking wet, fucking cold little fucking room. You know, tiny, like a closet with a shower head. Well, you know, with cage around. They make you strip down. Yeah. Make you strip down. No they shoes. Broke. Teal shorts. Make you strip down in that bitch. So you just walking around. Yeah, you stand in that bitch naked. <laughs> but they drop me on my shoulder. Right? Right. And if I wouldn't have moved my head at the last second, I'd have probably died or broke my neck but my shoulder is still fucked up to this day there's still something cracked in my shoulder broken my shoulder from that shit almost definitely we gotta Look talk about had the psychological we gotta yeah, talk yeah. about the psychological effects too so okay you're in there for long so, yeah, periods so, of time go ahead for real no for real no, speak on the long periods of time and if you in that business People are bored out their fucking mind, bro. So they beating on shit. They talking loud. They just, if they get into it with the, uh, the police and shit like that, they kicking the door. So just imagine 30 motherfuckers in that bitch kicking their shit at, like simultaneously and shit, trying to irritate or agitate the fucking officers. You know what I'm saying? So, so now you in that bitch, you just there. trying to read, trying to sleep. You know? A lot of people in there are mentally yeah. ill. You know, because... People who yeah. are mentally ill that they can't control, they always put them into solitary confinement because they can't figure out any other way to do it. Then people just, they're right. in there going crazy, screaming and banging their head off the wall and the door. And then they gas. So when they gas one of them people, it gases the entire place. I've been gassed. Gas everybody. everybody. You gas everybody. You gas everybody, like, bro. I was immune to that shit. I remember one day I'm standing there in the gas and cops like he's got his mask on he's looking at him he's like what the fuck is wrong with you is that not bothering you i said motherfucker i've been gassed 50 times this month Bro. no it ain't fucking bothering yeah, that's I'm crazy right it's, <laughs> it's crazy when we were young right i used to hold a lot when i was young right so coming down 17 years old right and i'm in a, i'm on the, i'm in a hole with a whole bunch of kids right so we used to like it was a game like we, we at least like three times we would get gassed in that day, right? So <laughs> we, like, we wanted to get gassed, so we would do some yeah. shit. We would probably keep a tray. Like you can't keep a tray in the hole, right? Because they think that yeah. you're trying to hurt yourself or hurt the officers coming in. By tray, he means the food tray. By tray, he means yeah, the tray food put tray. The food on. All right. So you would keep a food tray, and we would just mask up, ready to get ready to get gassed. Everybody yeah. that bitch be get gassed at least two or three times a day, bro. It's yeah. crazy. You flood the rock. You flood the rock. It's water everywhere on the rock and shit. Water yeah. everywhere in your room. Break, you come out of bed, fresh out of head. sleep. Yeah, break the split your head and shit. So it was like, that's how I was in the hole. Like, we was doing, like, we was psychotic. We was on the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the fringes. But of you psychotic. know why? Looking yeah. back, you can understand yeah. why. Because you craved comfort and attention. And, and having grown up and have such horrible lives, any kind of attention is better than yeah. no attention. We'd rather take bad attention than no attention at all. Plus, being in there by oh, yourself definitely. with your thoughts, especially at such a young age, oh, yeah. is horrible. Man. Horrible. They always say there's three things to do it with is. a hole, right? You can pace, take a shit, and jack off. And if you're in there long enough, you're That's eventually it. doing variations of those things, and sometimes all three of them at once. But just the oh, hole definitely. would drive a motherfucker to your your 
any stimuli, you're looking for any stimuli to remind you that you're still alive. Because when you're, oh, here's a good one. So anybody at home that's listening to this, if you want to experience what it's like to be in solitary confinement in a U.S. prison, go into your bathroom, shut the door, and don't let yourself out for hours or just even an hour. Just sit in there. And no, don't bring your phone, none of your no phones, no anything. Just sit in there for an hour. Sit on the floor next to your tub. Imagine being there for not days, not weeks, not months, months, for fucking years. Imagine being there, years, there and there's a little slot in your door, and that's your connection to the world. I actually wrote it's a, a fucking poem about that food slot because that is your connection to the world. Everything comes through that slot, whether it's somebody opening it to talk to yeah. you, the, the cop opening it to fucking, hey, are you still alive? Yeah, motherfucker, I'm alive. And he slams the shot and leaves. Finally, I mean, fucking, it's fucking. That's right. This whole thing but is fucking. It is. Oh. It's all fucking for sure. It's meant to be that way, though. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it, but it's, that doesn't make it right. Mm-hmm. It's horrible. It's a system. No, it don't make it right at all. It's designed to drive a motherfucker crazy. And it comes from, uh, uh, again, originally from slave plantations. Okay. So I want to add that uh, uh, I, I, I seen on the news earlier in the year that human rights attorneys are urging the United Nations, human rights attorneys right here in the United States are urging the United Nations to investigate sol- solitary confinement of black prisoners in America. So the rest of the world acknowledges that this is some horrible shit. Uh, we're, we're running out of time, but before we go real quick, I want to add that Seven and I, we've we've been begging them for, for years to let us paint some paintings on the back of the, the walls in solitary confinement, and we're, and we're finally, we got approval, and we're finally, we got a, a one step away from getting to paint some paintings on the back of a wall, so at least the guys in there aren't staring at nothing all day. But uh, for real, for real. we're out of time. For real, for we're real. out of time. What do we do here live from the plantation? We break your chains, my dude. Break the motherfucking chains. Today we're breaking the chains of solitary confinement in U.S. prisons. Take us on out, Seven. Okay, then. Thanks again, XV3 family. This is the Red Zone. Come again. Tune in. We love y'all.